Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, her baby. To another episode of the A Raps Podcast. Ah! Welcome back. We're in the snow. We're doing this all. This entire episode is going to be out in the snow. Well, you know, we're on episode 11 right now. <laughs> yep. And it's crazy. Yeah, we're also YouTube partners finally. So We did it. Thank you guys so much for everything on YouTube partners. That's pretty awesome, yeah? Yeah. So this week it's Try Not to Die Challenge in the snow. I think I might die of frostbite out here. Yeah? Yeah. It's, <sighs> it's not that bad. Your eyelashes are like frozen. It's pretty funny to look at. Yeah. <laughs> look at her eyelashes. <laughs> I got icicle lashes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm cold, though. Actually, it's really cold. My okay. ass is freezing. Okay. Yeah, I, we, we I don't think we can do this. We'll do it in the cabin. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I slipped. <laughs> I slipped. Oh, I fell. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, that was very cold. So yeah. we came into the house and uh, we're all bundled up now. Yeah, we wanted to we wanted to come live to you from our cabin that we were staying at for a week. Uh, hopefully you guys like this episode. We try to do the set as best as we can, and it was uh, it was difficult. It only took us four hours to set it up. Yeah, we have a huge show today. Like we're talking about Kate Middleton, we're talking about Boeing, yeah, we're about debates. Sure, we're talking about bears. Uh, bears. We're talking about B- big time BTR. Beat big time. My big- beef with big time fucking rush. Yeah, big time rush. Big time flush. Yeah. Oh my God. So we've got a big show, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. I, but it was. I, I. I think we should have done the snow. We should continue the snow bit. I can't do the snow. Your hands were turning purple. They always turn purple. I think you're. I really. I really do think you're anemic. I I'm think not a lot anemic. Of your anxiety and blood issues come from you being anemic. I'm not anemic. I think you. <laughs> I think you're anemic. I'm not anemic. Your hands turn blue when you touch anything cold. So that's insane. Fun fact about me. That's how me? people's yeah. hands turn. I'm allergic to the cold. Yeah, Frogan bro- broke out in hives. So people always think I'm like lying or like back crazy when I say I'm allergic to the cold. Um, it started when I was in Chicago in 2017. Uh, like basically everywhere the snow touched, a hive broke out on my face. And then it started happening on campus. Um, and I've been pretty, I had to be like really bundled up. Today when we were doing Capri Stream, I fell. Snow. We were doing snow. I fell with, and I was just wearing like this. I felt my back instantly like break out in hives. Then I looked it down at my hands and it was fucking over. Oof. But yeah, it's just itchy. Is it a haram to get hives? Yeah. yeah. Also, drafts for bleep out uh, us saying snow and because we're monetized now on YouTube. We're monetized, so we can't cuss, cuss for, for the, the first, first like 30, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We're beyond 30 we're beyond seconds. We're beyond it, at this but for, point. The, for safety, why not? You we're, know? Put a, put a, what, what bleep did we use this week? Uh. <laughs> Okay, we'll no, use, that use that one. For the rest of this episode, that will be the bleep. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the bleep. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's start off with uh, let's start off with uh, Kate Middleton. Uh, I want to talk about something with a blanket. Huh? You want a blanket right now? I do. Okay. Well, we'll get you a blanket. You though. had your shop. I know I did. Yeah. You had your chance to get a blanket. You can still get one. Though. I asked right you, you wanted tea, and you're like, I don't want tea. I don't want tea because it burnt my fucking tongue. Now Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I asked you if you wanted tea before I gave it to you, and that's why you didn't want tea was because you knew it was going to burn your yeah, tongue. Oh, remember, she didn't want the tea, but we kind of forced the tea on her. He was like, you have to have it for the aesthetic. I'm like, okay. So then I took a sip of it. One, I spilled it on my shirt, so I had to flip it around backwards. Two, it burnt my tongue, so I have no taste buds on the tip of my tongue anymore. You deserved it. Fuck. Who? What the fuck you deserved did I do? It. Oh, what my did God. I do? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, I, to be honest, it's because you didn't enjoy the tea. Uh, we've we've been in the snow. Yeah, your Lebanese side is very yeah, disappointed. Side, yeah. in, in we you. we've been in the snow for for a week now. It's been the most relaxing experience. Yeah, ever. we weren't even gonna film the podcast to be honest, and then we were like, you know what? Let's just do it. Ew. <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> Why? What the what's fuck wrong? is wrong with you? Is it like too spicy? You don't like the tea? What's wrong with the tea? I like my shit sweet. So Kate Middleton has been missing, and everyone thinks it's because of that tea you made. Yeah, yeah. Kate Middleton's been missing. Yeah. Okay, so Kate Middleton's been missing. I didn't know about this, and then I started reading about it before the pod, and it's literally been blowing my mind. And now I'm a conspiracy theorist. What's been blowing your mind about it? I think she's dead. 
You think she's dead? Yes. My favorite theory about her missing is the BBL conspiracy. <laughs> What's a BBL? Big a Brazilian, big butt lift. Brazilian butt lift. Okay. Imagine like being like, ah, I, can't, I have to go. I have to like be out of the public eye for a long time because I have a BBL. Dude, I want a BBL so fucking bad. Uh, what I want to get a B- BBL on the front. Should we all get? <laughs> wait. You want bigger balls? <laughs> yeah. Brazilian ball lift. Imagine if you. I have- want them high and tight, like Andrew Schultz's haircut. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so dude. is Andrew Schultz's haircut the opposite of a low taper fade? I think that's more of like a mid skin fade. I think it's, it's not tapered. I think it's like, oops, I cut too much off the side. It's a skin fade. Is that what it's called? Yeah, because it's not tapered. It's just it's just straight skin, and then he has. I mean, I guess that you could say it's tapered to a skin fade. Can I just say that his haircut, like, I like his haircut. I think it suits him, but I feel like if anybody else had it, it would low-key be giving white supremacists. Yeah, no, I agree. Capri wanted that haircut. He had it one time. I would not look like a white supremacist because I'm not white. I don't know. You looked very supremacy. You can't just say you look very supremacy, okay? Why? Supremacy. Okay, I'm (laughs) going to read this. That's insane. None of you guys could. Okay, I'm going to read this. Re- what are Apparently, you reading? I'm reading this. I found this Variety article that documents the entire list of what happened with her. Okay, cool. I can trust, I can trust Variety. Oh, so she disappeared on December 25th. And okay. she hasn't been seen since? No, and then she was admitted to the hospital on January 16th. So then she didn't disappear. She's in the hospital. And then basically some Spanish uh, news anchor claimed she was in a coma. Okay. And then she was discharged from the hospital. And then I didn't realize this. Well, but as I'm going through the article... Uh, fucking the didn't the king die, like during that or the other prince? I think I the think king. he has cancer or some shit now. Yeah, but she never made an appearance or anything like that, right? No. So what they've been doing is, so the internet has been speculating. There's been theories on TikTok. They're like, where the fuck is Kate Middleton at at this point? Um, so people think one, her man cheated on her, so she's laying low. Prince okay. William, um, he's an ugly motherfucker, so. All right. Well, now we got the whole royal court against us. Have you seen him? Yeah, I've seen him. What is? Are you saying he's ugly? He is ugly. I'm not. I'm not even. Is that the one that looks like Ed Sheeran? No. Uh, No. I think if if I had to choose one between William and William has hair and the other one Henry doesn't. That's not Henry. No, no. William is bald. William is bald. William's the older one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know. He's the heir to the throne. Right. Um, I don't think he was that bad looking. Because Harry bowed out. Or whatever reason. They basically the royal family hates Harry because he didn't marry a white. Yeah, they, basically. They, talk about the racism. Yeah, yeah, but anyways, William's ugly as fuck. So if he's cheating, like, fuck, are you doing? Besides the point. So the one theory is he cheated on her, and they're trying to like work shit out. Mm. Theory number two: she got a BBL, Brazilian butt lift. Love so that for her. If you don't know what a BBL is, they suck the fat out of your stomach and put it in your ass and your hips. What if you're not fat in your stomach? Then you have to, you have to gain weight for the surgery. What? Yeah. Sounds amazing. How much That's weight do you have to gain lately. to get a BBL? Is it like the more fat you are, the more ass you got? Lately, I've been gaining weight for my BBL. That's, I saw. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no, I wasn't trying to be mean. I just noticed. I noticed that you were gaining weight strictly for your BBL. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't. I'm not getting a BBL. What do you mean? So what are you doing? So what Just you gaining mean? weight because I'm hungry. Oh, okay. I'm pregnant. Oh, I thought it was for the BBL. Am I wearing underwear on the outside? You are wearing <laughs> underwear on the outside, but it's cool. I like the aesthetic. Because I have my regular shorts on. Yeah, under you this. do, but it's cool. It's all right. You're wearing your thermals on the outside. You look like you're going to. Am gonna, I naked right now? You look like you're going to like rob a train in the, you know, in 18th century. And they, do you think people <laughs> ran around in thermals in the 18th century? And ran. Tra- made and by ran, like. Not ran trains. Nobody ran a train. Uh, they r- robbed trains. They robbed trains. People ran trains on uh, all the people. Nobody my ran grandma a train. Told me that in people the comments, were running trains. you can't say your grandma ran a train. Yeah, my grandma was running trains. You don't know. No, you, you can't say she's been running trains on people. In the comments below, would you let somebody run a train on you? Let us know. Great. Okay, hold on. Welcome to the first monetized episode. In the comments below, would you let someone run a train on you now or in the 1800s? Okay. In the comments, put down. <laughs> would you let somebody run a train on you? Uh. In thermals, or would you let somebody run a train on you uh, tomorrow? Uh, I didn't have a good. I didn't have a good one. I didn't have a good one, dude. I'm fried. It's cold. I have frostbite it's in my gonna, brain. So you resort to tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Fucking god. Dude. Put tomorrow in the comments. You guys are so fucking annoying. This is why Kate Middleton ran away. I think Kate Middleton did. I think she. I think. She, I think she's. You think she's dead? 
I think she got ran a train on. If someone, if <laughs> no, no one ran a train. If someone was in a coma, that's yeah. insane. But I, I, I guess the uncle said something about like her being like getting t- taken care of well. Or uncle something. on whose side? I don't know. One of her uncles, Jerry Goldsmith, tuned. I don't know. She's dead. <laughs> yeah. Or she the died. other theory is she's dead. So basically, in order to combat these rumors, is it like Buckingham Palace? I don't know shit about the royal family. I don't understand the obsession with the fucking royal family. Why do queens and kings and princes and princesses still exist in this fucking? I day met and the age? queen. Yeah, what was she <laughs> Why? like? I met the queen didn't before you? she died or after <laughs> yeah, she before died. Before she died. Why? My friend was rich and he took me to a polo match. And she was there. Yeah, and he. She told. Can I tell you this story? I was 18 years old. Yeah, I'm sorry. Really, I do want to keep talking about Kate Middleton, but this is a really good. This is a really good story. I can feel it. It's gonna be good. Let me hear it. So I, I went to I went to London. Yeah. And then my friend was like, they were rich at the time, and they were like, hey. We're gonna do this. We're doing this sponsored thing with the Queen, Polo. You gotta come to. You gotta come out here, and you we can like. You're gonna. It's like. It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know. Yeah. So, once are in you life lying life. to us? No. We're, it's the altitude. It's the altitude. I, we will call my dad after because he's the one who took me. Okay. Okay. So so we go and we go to London and then we like go to Windsor, which is where they play polo. Right. And you sit in like it's basically like a fucking wedding, and you sit there. With a bunch of white people that like, you know, mind you, also my friends were Arabs. Right. So they were like rich Arabs. So it was like brown people and then white people, like ghosts. Okay. And then basically what ended up happening is that she like goes up to my friend and at, like at one point they like, because I think they were sponsoring, they were paying for them. Okay. So basically she goes up to like the, 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 the dad who I was friends with and then the son who I was friends with. And then she told my, the son like. You look like a little white. You look like a little knight. So my Where friend, did that, white come from? I think she said white knight, but I can't remember. Is she on Twitch, bro? Huh? No, she said you look that like a little knight. That wasn't her, dude. That, okay, was, but that I, was a decoy. No, it was her. And what was crazy about it back in the day is that she says that to my friend, and all I can talk about the entire time, I, mind you, I'm like 18, so I'm meeting the queen. All we had the conversation was, was about Counter-Strike. The entire time we were there. You talked to the queen about Counter-Strike? No, I didn't talk to the queen about Counter-Strike. Imagine the queen just being like, yeah, I'm running Counter-Strike. I'm running a pistol and a sniper. It's my build. The craziest thing about it is that there was two things that I remember to this day. The fact that the queen likes Counter-Strike. No, when the horses run on the fucking dirt, you the horses make holes. Mm -hmm. White people go out in the middle of the dirt and then they put they they like they step on the holes. Why? To put the dirt back. Oh. It's like part of the experience. You mean like the rich white people do that? It's they insane. go and they just fill up the holes. They no, they step. They're on like, ah, oh, Timmy, let's they go, go down and they experience go, I, I, labor. Labor. Labor experience what the poor but they people do. British, do it in British. Hello, love. We're Hello, gonna step on the step <laughs> on the hose. Jordan. I can't right now. I'm gonna go step on the hose. The hose. We're gonna put some. We're gonna put some on lip. the hose. Do, do it with me. Do it because this is exactly how it happened. What? Hello, love. We're going oh, to yeah, step on the scared. hose. Oh, right. I'll skip it. Hello, hello, love. Oh, love. Let's what are these that. little, what are these little uh, Arabs uh, doing here? Uh, there's holes everywhere. Let's put Don't we have to bomb them? Yes, let's put holes in the ground. Don't let's we have fill to up do, the hose. Let's do some more I colonization. Do so they stepped I on the that bit. Oh, Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. So they stepped on the holes. And then after, the other thing that I remember, I just, I fucking forgot. But I just remember that she told, <laughs> and I remember the... The other thing that I remember, I fucking oh, forgot. Oh, here's the other thing. She fuck my my brother got a picture of it with his camera because he had a nice camera at the time. She fucking drove herself away. The bitch got in a Land Rover and drove off. And the fucking Yo, man sat next to her like a little bitch. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. It wasn't the queen. No, that was the queen. <laughs> nah, dude. dude. I have photos of her, and we could have sold it back in the day to like TMZ because people weren't allowed there, and Dominic was like getting pics. But literally, dead ass, like. She drove away in a Land Rover. Nah, which is a pick. British car. I need to see the receipts because it, put it, put it, comment in the chat if you believe his story because I don't think it's I, true. She, uh, why would she drive herself? I, I have seen pictures of her driving herself before in a Land Rover. Yeah. So when? Those were probably my pictures. TMZ style. I'm pulling when? it up she on my has phone. One. When have you seen it? Online. The Queen? Yeah. That bitch drives. That you bitch know, drives, dude. You know, fuck the royal family. Like, you ever see those TikToks of people going to, like, the fucking palace and, like, people are trying to pet their horses and then those stupid-ass, nutcracker-looking-ass soldiers are like, DON'T TOUCH THE HORSE! 
British people get mad at everything, dude. I'm looking up these pictures just to prove it to you. Yeah, don't touch the fucking horse. It's doing a job right now. Nobody should be. It's the same with service animals. Don't touch my fucking dog. I'm working. Nobody should be touched. You you would touch a horse. You would go up to. You would go up and just touch a horse. (laughs) Dude, listen. We saw wild donkeys the other day. And you went up to touch them. I wanted to touch it so bad. It looked at me. We gotta post the video. It did look like it did. (laughs) That looked like look at. It did look like you. <laughs> they had their little hijabs. It looked too. at you. It looked at you. <laughs> Boom. I can't do a horse. Wow, what We're a beefing. fucking slip up. We're beefing. I didn't mean okay, look like. Which, which I meant look one, at. Which one looked like me? None of them. The one with the ear or missing an ear? The missing ear. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb question is yeah, that, that is. No, I'm obviously missing. It, it fucking looked at me and I, I stuck my hand. I was like, come here. And Kobe's like, no, don't not bother not them. I don't like disturbing wild animals. What the fuck is your guys' problem? And then he this? drove up really he drove up next to him. He's like, don't let's leave him in the natural habitat. <laughs> just leave him alone. But I realized that the don't natural habitat them. was just a, a public road. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I wanted to touch I think it would have let me touch it, to be honest. You would have gotten kicked. No, I'm the snow white. Hey, you know what we learned about that day? What? Rogan doesn't didn't know what a donkey show was. Oh yeah, I forgot about you that. You don't know what a donkey show is. No, and I, I kind of regret learning about it. Like that's it's not awful. good. It's awful. Uh, dude, I feel like the internet. You like you have a fucked up thought. Somebody probably did it before. It's not an internet thing. This was pre-internet. People would talk about this. It was pre-internet. Oh. Like people would talk about in California. People would, people would be Mexico like, they would the go be like, I went to a donkey they want, show. People want to see it. Sick freaks. Yeah. yeah, sick freaks. You ever remember? Remember that scene? Remember in Fosh? Enemy? Remember that scene in they Enemy? Would love it. You ever, you ever seen Enemy? Yeah. Oh, I remember seeing that scene in Enemy where, like, it's the beginning and they're all, like, in this club. And the woman, like, pulls out, like, a spider. Yeah. And she, like, steps on it and stuff. Uh-huh. But people are into weird shit like that. You know wait, wait, true. wait. The people are into stepping on spiders, like, sexually? I don't know if people are actually into it, but it was, like, a theme in the movie. Dude, fuck like, that movie. Like, the woman's movie. heel stepping on a spider. I watched that movie four times. Still get, don't get it? I think I kind of get it. Okay, well, that's cool. What, what's it? the movie about stepping so. on a spider? I don't really know. I mean, to be honest, after the fourth one, I, like, Googled, but... <laughs> I did the same. Anyways, Kate Middleton is gone. So I saw that I saw the picture that she finally released on March tenth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That AI fucking picture. She looks fuzzy. Her hands are fucked up. The kids look fucking weird. What's going on? Is that just what royal kids look What's like though? What's going on? It does look AI, dude. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. You have to see the full body thing. But click the first one. You got to see the full body. Okay, so we're we're showing this right now. Also, the kids don't look real. Ugh. They look AI, dude. Is that what look happens at the when hands. you just have a white family? That they don't look real. Wait, what is this? Is that his? I don't want to. Yeah, talking. zoom in, zoom in, what zoom is in. That? Is it AI hands? Yeah, Jeez. zoom in. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't want to subscribe. Yeah, no, pass, pass. It's his weird. hands are all weird too. It's weird, dude. The AI generated it from Photoshop. You think it, she said that she was experimenting with... Uh, you know what's crazy about the royal family? What, babe? No. Start what? over. You don't, wanna, you don't want me to call you babe? We've no. gone really close in the mountains. No, we have not. We've made love in the mountains. Do you know what I've done this entire time? What? I beat Majora's Mask. It was the greatest day of my oh, life. I did not think you were going to say Majora's Mask. Great. Uh, so here's the deal about the royal family and celebrities. Neat. People get so... Make news out of nothing. Like, she's experimenting with editing. It's like if I took a shit, nobody's going to fucking... I'm experimenting. What do you do? It's like, why is that newsworthy? Also, why is she doing the editing? She's a royalty. She doesn't do the editing on her phone. Yo, she bought that face app for thirty nine ninety nine a year. She's yeah. like, I got to use it. That's a lot of money. She's like, she know, refaced that shit. But dude, and then another picture they posted, I think, is like a side profile of her. Mm-hmm. And people were comparing profile pictures of her from like 2018. Apparently, it doesn't match up, so... Well... What do you mean from 2018? What do you mean from 2018? Why would they compare pictures from 2018? Because it's like they were because like, like this is what she. What looked if like she in was just? What if she just like had to take a shit for the past two months? Yeah, she's just not taking the fiber pills, dude. Um, okay. Can I just but, be honest before we get into the fiber talk? Who gives a fuck about where she is? I don't care. I think it's stupid. Well, I, I mean, a woman is missing. I'm a not, high profile I'm woman sure is missing. Fine. No, no, she's not missing. She's missing from the public eye. People know where she's at. Her family knows where she's at. She's not missing. If she's dead, she's fucking dead. If she's fucking get a BBL, she's getting a BBL. All if right. she's if she's in a coma, she's in a coma. All right. Maybe she's gonna come out looking like Mickey Rooney. All right. You know, fine. You know, maybe she's gonna do the fucking Zac Efron. Maybe she wanted to do drugs with her friends in the mountains. 
Mm, uh, okay. Here's the deal. We took Israeli <laughs> fiber pills. We've been taking them for days. I don't want to say where we are, but the house that we're in right now should not have Israeli fiber pills. Yeah. So we and took we found them. them, and let me just tell you something right now. I should My ass them. was an open air prison. <laughs> <laughs> You finally feel what it's yeah, like. I, I know what it feels it. like now. And it doesn't feel good. Uh, shake my ass. Uh, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> and I don't know if it was the altitude fucking with me or if it was just the bombs that I was. I, I think it's like multiple factors. Cause, so we all took two fiber pills. I've been needing fiber pills, honestly, for a good two months because my shits have not been good. <laughs> Israeli fiber pills. Right? But, so we took it. Dude, I think I shit more in the last two days than I have in the last two months. Dude. It was the worst experience ever because every five minutes I was going to the bathroom and I felt like I was the only one. And then at one point you guys were like, why am I still going to the bathroom? <laughs> and I was like, I've been going to the bathroom all day. I'm like, what did we all take? I'm like, we all kept eating the fiber gummies. You had one each. I took, no, I took two. I took yeah, four. I, I took four. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the shit, like, it clears you out. Like, Bro, it cleared really. me out. really. It cleared me up. Also, the place we're at doesn't have bidets, and I didn't realize how much of an issue that is. Oh for me. my god, dude! I was gonna say that. So there's a bidet in my bathroom, yeah, but it's broken. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. so all it does is just like spit on your ass. <laughs> 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 literally, I was like, "Is my ass wet?" <laughs> I literally like spit up, and I'm like, <laughs> "Just spit." See, here's the thing. I was prepared. And I was like, there's probably, I don't know if there's going to be bidets there or not, so I brought baby wipes, which is like the next best alternative. I brought, I have wipes. You have wipes? I have wipes as well. <sighs> but yeah, I miss my bidet. If you don't use a bidet in 2024, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Six minutes left. All right. What the fuck are you doing if you're not using a goddamn bidet? Listen, here's the thing. I'm gonna be real with you. I used to shit on my dad whenever we were younger because he we didn't we didn't have a bidet. He had like a a jug with water in it that he would use after he shit, which is essentially the same thing like a bidet. Like he like washes ass off the water. It was like a Muslims. If you're in the comments, let me know what it's called because I forgot. It looks like a planter thing. Yeah, no, I'm not down for that. A fern. I'm not gonna take a fucking watering planter jug. And I mean, shove that was it before asshole. electric bidets. And he just shove it in his ass. You know, in watch. Lebanon, they have bidets, but they look like little sinks, and you sit over them. Yeah. And the 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 real bidets, not the not the Japanese ones. Japanese have made bidets better. You know that the the tube comes out, it squirts water up your asshole at high speed. My grandfather used to have a bidet. I didn't know what it was as a kid, so I would turn it on full speed, and it would squirt in my mouth. <laughs> And now Ew. that I knew that it was a bidet, Ew. I don't want to talk about it. Ew. Okay. Yeah. Let's so not talk about it. I never used the bidet because I was like, as a kid, I was like, that's gay. You know, you know, all that fucking shit. Like, yeah. You know, little fucking homophobic kid. Right. And then now as an adult, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. I should have been gay for years, you know, because that shit actually helps a lot. No, dude. Like, if it's literally 2024. If you don't use a fucking bidet, like, you're dumb and gross. Yeah. Muslims really uh, powered that bidet. I have a Ludwig bidet. Speaking of speaking of Lebanon, I dude, want, <laughs> I I'm sorry. I want to talk about this so bad. So the other day, I was on Twitter minding my own fucking business. Mm -hmm. I don't think I, Raph's seen this, but I want to break it no, down one by no, one. No, trust keep me, going. I showed Raph. I, oh, okay. I, I, I saw showed it. him. I um, saw a buddy. So. I saw uh, a tweet from James Maslow from Big Time Rush. As you all know, I used to love Big Time Rush. They're one of my favorite bands ever. I literally, they're like my first concert when I was 14 years old. Um, and I saw them like, I want to say 13 times. That's Anyways, insane. So and like, I had to see one of them and I was depressed. You were the depressed. There was kids next to me. Okay, but it was fun. They were too happy. and I, had to I don't understand why kids are there. It's literally a, a millennial thing. Like, I liked them whenever I was uh, 12 years old. The, literally, the little kid was sitting. I fucking hated that, dude. No, anyways. Like, TikTok. Yeah. Fucking so, hated so it. So, anyways, he's a lot big time rush. Until James did some dumb fucking shit when everything with Palestine uh, went, vir went viral in October. So, this all started with him going to Israel in October. Yeah. To document what happened in Hamas. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot, dumb bitch. Like, he was putting a press badge on. He was like, like, while me and like, Mortez and, like, uh, Plistia and Bisan were, like, literally fighting for their fucking life and still are. Mm -hmm. 
putting a press badge on all dirtied up. And that made me mad. I'm like, you're a fucking fake piece of shit. So then he's been posting like infographic like videos. But this one sent me the fuck off. He was like, free Lebanon. Not even joking. Watch now. I watched the video. I Before, I was running around. I, I swear to God, I was like. You called everyone in your family. I call, <laughs> Yeah, I literally yeah, called. I did call everyone in your family. <laughs> Here's the deal. I want to I wanna play the video because we're, you know, and chat's, you, uh, not chat, but viewers are going to hear it and see it. And we're going to go through and break it down line by line because I'm Lebanese and Palestinian. You're Lebanese. You're Lebanese. You know, here we go. Let's hear it. So this is this is the video. We're going to play it real quick. Free Lebanon. Not sure if you've heard, but Lebanon is occupied. I'm kind of not kidding. Hezbollah is the Iranian-backed terror group that controls a significant part of Lebanon, a tiny country just above Israel. Now, Hezbollah is the most heavily armed non-state actor. Okay, I looked this up. It's, uh... He didn't let it play through. Okay. They have over 150,000 rockets and missiles. You know, just to put it into perspective, they're estimated to have more firepower than 95% of the world's conventional armies. Think about it. And these guys are not quiet about their agenda. So they're, they're, he's saying they have more firepower than 95% of the world's conventional armies. When I looked at, okay, number one, a non-state actor to have more firepower than what conventional armies? Uh, who? So whenever I was talking to Raph about it, he brought up a good point, like, the main armies in the world are like a part of NATO and their firearms are regulated? Question mark? It, no, but this is I looked this up. This is not real. The only the only articles that were on this were a Zionist newspapers. The, there was no articles on this to say that they have ninety five percent. It was only a Zionist article that he pulled up from a Zionist organization. And when you click on it, their news is literally the only two three things they talk about is US, Israel, anti Semitism. Right. Can you I know? point something out that my sister pointed out the other day? Uh, she said that he only wears the Star of David necklace whenever he makes these videos. Yeah. I think a lot of these people are paid by Israel. They are paid by Israel. It's, it's being many, Jewish. Many people is he Jewish? Come, a lot he of is Jewish. Yeah, he's yeah. Jewish. Okay. A lot of people come out and say, say that they've been trying to be paid by Israel for propaganda. I mean, like a big notable one is Bobby Lee has come out and been like, <laughs> yeah, been like they wanted me to like do a show out there and like pay me and like talk good about Israel. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, they were like, you need to talk good about Israel. Yeah, you need to like show, they'll like show me around. They like do all this stuff. But like, yeah, Bobby, I mean, I don't know word for word what he said, but Bobby Lee was like, Hmm. yeah, they bring celebrities out there to do this shit. That's Mm -hmm. crazy. So let me keep playing it. Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, praised Hamas's attacks on Israel on 10-7, which targeted civilians, massacring 1,200 Israelis, Jews, Arabs, and foreign residents. And since 10-7, Hezbollah has fired missiles at Israel's northern communities. Not true. Destroying military. Okay, that's so, not true. I, I don't know what, what. So, Hold I, on. correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the IDF came out and said that the number isn't 1,200, it's actually 900. Well, One. they also they also shot their own people. I, again, it doesn't make it any less bad. I know, it doesn't make it any less bad, right. but like if you're gonna be making these propaganda you pieces about um, uh, Hamas killing people, Get the numbers right. Get your numbers yeah. specific. Also, I don't think I think I thought Hezbollah was staying out of doing anything with Israel. They no, no, did. Hezbollah has, Hezbollah has been telling Israel multiple times. He, okay, look, this is the thing. This is if you watch this, you're an American, you don't understand. Right behind closed doors, I have people in the the military up in Lebanon. They say that Hezbollah can go in. They're not going in because they don't have the fucking funds, and they know that they work with the fucking Israelis. They don't give a shit. The Iranians. Are who's who's their ally right now? Here's the thing, though. The America, right? Uh, uh, Iran and America have been working together, so all of these people know that the Israelis and the Iranians both are working with the Americans. We have our pockets and everything. So Hezbollah working on behalf of who? Uh, he's like this non-state actor that's run by Iran. Why is Iran the boogeyman when we're literally doing deals with them right now? Right. Because right. they're Muslim. Plus, I mean, Hezbollah fucked Israel up in 2006. Yeah, but the deal is, back in 2006, Lebanon's economy was booming. Yeah. And right now, Lebanon's economy is in shambles. They're never going to go into... They're just doing the rockets to look like they're doing something. And Israel knows that. Here's the thing, though. Um, another thing is, I feel like uh, Nasrallah's like, response to October 7th was like one of the most anticipated shits ever. And it was nothing. It literally, yeah, he he literally, said a whole lot of shit. Yeah, he said nothing. He said, Nobody in Lebanon... He said, 
we'll, we'll, we won't, we'll, he basically said we won't He's like, do we it. will do anything we'll we do can. We'll do anything. We'll do anything, Habibi. Anything you want, we'll do If you, you touch it. us, we touch you. We we'll touch, I'll touch you. No, but the fucking, tra- <laughs> the trailer they dropped for that, I was like, ooh. It was ooh. so insane. I was like, ooh, it's going it to get like serious. Cin- <laughs> it was a, bro, they dropped an Arab MCU. Arab cinematic universe. They're like, listen, Habibi, get the people who cut Marvel. Okay, yeah. we want to drop MCU. How much? Muslim cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the thing, though, like, it, people don't realize that, like, Israel literally <laughs> fucked like Lebanon for decades. This isn't a whole new they thing. They occupied Lebanon. Exactly. Yeah. They do, people don't talk about that. Why do you think they went to fucking war in 2006? They were trying to expand their territory in South Lebanon where me and Capri are from. Dude, the craziest thing is, like, I say this all the time. The, 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 it's the same thing. The Lebanese Christians hate Hezbollah. Not all of them, but now some of them are on their side because they, they know that they're going to protect them from Israel mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. everyone in the Middle East is afraid of Israel. And the Lebanese Christians are super racist towards the Palestinians. So if they don't like the fucking Israelis, it's because nobody trusts the Israelis because the Israelis only give a shit about themselves. They will never make a deal with you. They don't give a fuck about you. They will bomb a fucking area that has nothing to do with anything. They bombed next to my grandfather's house when there was no military target there in 2006 and almost fucking killed people that I know. Christian area. There's no, there's no Hezbollah there, you know? So anyways, let me, let me finish this. Terry infrastructure, killing soldiers and civilians and forcing around 100,000 Israelis to leave their homes and take refuge. Who, by the way... Oh my God, that's Okay, so- you stupid motherfucker. Whoa, it's, it's doesn't like, okay. feel so good. <laughs> Dude, they, the Israelis have to leave their homes. Yeah. No, here's the thing. That shit made me so mad. Because, okay, so I've been trying to write a TikTok script about it, but I'm just like, I need to approach this in a way that won't get me canceled. Right. Because I have to be very careful with my words. Um, Whenever you... Okay, Palestinians, right? 28,000 plus have been killed since October 7th. Two million plus have been displaced. Okay, let me finish this because this is where I'm like, what is the purpose of your video besides propaganda, right? Okay. So let's finish the end of this. Are still displaced today. The civilians in Gaza are not the only ones living. Pause it, pause it. The Terry regime he's talking about is not Israel. He's, he's talking, talking about, about Hamas. Hamas. Yeah. He's not talking about the, the, the 10,000 kids that have been killed by Israel. He's, he's, talking not, about Hamas. he's not talking about Israel who's actively fucking genociding them, anyways. Right. So, but, but, anyways, by the end of it, living. Okay. Unfortunately, the same thing is happening in the north in Lebanon under a terrorist regime known as Hezbollah, which frankly is 10 times as deadly as Hamas. So, my question is why is nobody calling to free Lebanon? Because 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 Hezbollah is not fucking bombing us or putting us in fucking camps and telling us that we can't get water because if, if they come into a you fucking moron, okay? If they go into an area that they're not they don't belong into, we shoot you. That's what they do in Lebanon. We literally will kill you, okay? So if you come in there and you're not from that fucking town, you get killed. We have sovereignty. You fucking dipshit. Can we talk about how they've been fucking dropping white phosphorus on Lebanon too? Yeah, Israel's been doing dropping white phosphorus on Lebanon. All Israel is doing when he does this propaganda shit is just bolstering everyone in Lebanon now is now bolstering the support for Hezbollah because now they know Hezbollah is like I alone can keep you safe for Israel. Right. So if you wanted to get fucking rid of them, you know, if that's your goal, then why are you doing this right. to the Palestinian civilians? Fuck you. Fuck your bullshit. You don't know what you're talking about. Take your money and go get your fucking plastic surgery, you Nickelodeon ass bitch. Yeah, why don't you put on a, a fucking helmet like your fucking friend does? <laughs> Here's the thing. Whenever I, loser. whenever I saw that video, I like they said, I literally called everybody in my fucking family. I called my <laughs> friends. I'm like, you need to watch this dumb bullshit James posted. So as soon as I called Gigi, my sister, she was raging. OK, I called Aya. I'm like, you got to watch this. I called my mom. I was like, you got to watch this. I called my friend Noor. I was like, you got I literally called everybody in the fucking. I don't know. It just made me feel some type of way because I'm just like, it's obviously fucking wrong. He's spreading this propaganda. You read the comments under. They're like, oh, James, thank you so much for bringing this to the light. Like, I'm half Lebanese. I'm like, you're half Lebanese. Clearly, you don't know anything about your fucking culture. Dude, I'm half Lebanese. I'm not well-versed in everything that's going on with our culture. I still think it's bullshit. Dude, the thing is, what this is, is they continuously do the same shit over and over. Why are you so mad at Israel when they do genocide? Does that make you anti-Semitic? That's what they're trying to say. You're anti-Semitic because you're mad at Israel's genocide. Other countries do genocide. Why can't we do genocide? And it's like, because it's because I'm not going to fucking fund it. Suck my ass. You know, yeah, they're not, it's, it's a it's a piss poor attempt at trying to take the attention away from Hamas and putting it over to Hezbollah and Lebanon, which has literally I mean, not to say they don't have anything to fucking do with it. But like they're it's just not they're not a part they're of two that organizations that would probably fight in, in different circumstances. Yeah. 
And here's the thing. My favorite thing about these people are people that commit, uh, compare Hamas and ISIS. Like, those motherfuckers hate each other. <laughs> yes, Dude. they do hate each other. Hold on. They think that's all one big terrorist group, quote unquote terrorist group, but it's like, they're not. <laughs> Just so you know, okay? Hezbollah, this is how dumb Americans are. Hezbollah is Shia, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay? It's Shia Muslim. Hamas is Sunni Muslim. Uh -huh. If you know anything, there has been, they do not like each other. So to say Hamas and Hezbollah are the same, you're talking about two different fucking groups that don't agree. Yeah. Because you're so uneducated, you don't understand. The second part of that is that these two groups don't agree, but they all could fucking see clear as day that killing babies is not good. And maybe maybe they're pieces of shit, but they go, hey, man, I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. Right. <laughs> I would not kill a kid, you know? <laughs> you know, so that's the thing is like, you're ta they don't, these people don't fucking know what they're talking about, and they're consistently doing this to basically paint Arabs as a monolith and some fucking thing, again, the reason why we have this podcast, Christian, Muslim, Jew, Arab, okay? It is not a monolith. Period. Period. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, I was thinking about this. Like, these motherfuckers want to come on the internet because they learn about what happened on October 7th from Wikipedia or some other fucking research. Where, like I mentioned multiple times before on this stupid fucking podcast, we knew about this shit ever since we were growing up. So they want to act like the, the fucking moral superiority. It's it's one of those things where it, it's so frustrating to me because it's one of those things where uh, these people Feel the don't. I'm not. It's really hot. We it's hot. Um, I can't touch no, the back here. No, do it. You um, need can to I do be it. honest, Raph? We need to turn off this fire. I turned it off. Touch it. I'm it's gonna be honest. I feel like. Oh shit! You're on fire. <laughs> I know. Oh my god! You're so I almost oppressed. burned you, Rogan. Why are you so oppressed with the hijab? So I just fought somebody on Twitter. What oh, for? What? What? Okay, so I regarding this. About about me, kind okay, of. Well, okay. okay. So I put I posted a picture of me. I was like in the mountain tiki. My haters are evolving. Yeah. Okay. So one was like, "You're not as fat anymore." And I'm like, "Thanks, <laughs> thank you. I've been losing weight." And my biggest criticism of people shitting on me, I'm like, they're using old fucking pictures of me. Right. One, two. Another person was like, "Are you using your hijab to hide your double chin?" I I I I posted scandalous. Posted I posted my neckline. I said no. They're like, okay, Wait, slay you posted queen. your neckline? I did. When? You posted No, I don't want to see. Allah's going to strike me down. Abraham will strike me down. Yahweh will kill me. Well, I think you can, you, as a Muslim, you can show your chin thing. Is that true? You can't show your hair. But she's saying neck. I don't know, dude. I don't know the logistics know of the this. So they, yeah, they're like. All right, let's see it. They're like, does your hijab cover your double chin? I said, no, bitch. I have a. Shit, that's a fucking tiny ass neck. You got like a, you got like neck binding, like no, old I mean, I'm school. I'm wearing a turtleneck. Yeah, but the turtleneck's not that big. Look at her neck; it's tiny. What did they say in response? They said. What did they say? Oh my god, OMG, yes, serve. They said that. Yes, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> One of your haters when I wrote, I wrote the, the fuck fucking is happening, dude. The haters are they are evolving. <laughs> They're realizing they're on the wrong side of history. I'll tell you. One of them, I wrote this whole thing. I said, you know what? Jews are not oppressed. The, the smallest minority in the whole world is Christian Arabs, which I'm a part of, right? So we should have our own ethnostate in Israel. And one guy goes, I don't believe in eth any ethnostate. I go, no shit, dumbass. You've been a Zionist the whole fucking time. I've been typing. I go, what is going on? I go, dude, how did I bait you on this? He goes, well, nobody should have an ethnostate. I'm like, every post you've been like, yeah, dude, you're just anti-Semitic. Blah, blah. God, dude, I fucking swear to God. So, yeah, I have a normal neck. Giraffes are Photoshop a picture of Frogan on a giraffe. But and then people are also freaking out. They're like, I feel like I've seen you naked. I'm like, it's my neck. It's my neck. I don't like the way you say that. What? It does it feel like you've seen me. I've seen you naked. No. Why are you looking at me like that? Because the giraffe thing? The giraffe thing fucked me up. <laughs> 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 the giraffe thing <laughs> fucked me up big time, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just thinking about Frogan's face on a on a giraffe. <laughs> and then I was thinking, oh, maybe Frogan riding the giraffe. And then, you know, Frogan with the body of a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, all I got to say is one thing. It will fuck your brain Dude, up. Dude, it fucked me up. You want a frog. My ass hurts. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you don't have a cushion under there. Uh, Where <laughs> this impromptu set is, is <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys us. think of our cozy little, cozy little? Cozy little impromptu set. It's actually, I honestly, we should do more trips and then just do the podcast from different locations. Yeah, sure. 
We'll do it. We'll call Arab Arabs abroad. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh alliteration. <laughs> Speaking of travel, I wanted to talk about Boeing. The uh, whistleblower was. Yeah, I'm not going on any Boeing planes anymore. Do you know that you can check the boxes to not select the planes on like Kayak now, so you don't get a Boeing plane? Oh, really? Yeah, you could pick your plane. But do you? But today, what happened? So today, uh, one of the doors ripped off again on another plane. Today, yep. so I today we're. I wish that would happen on the plane I'm on. You Imagine. just want to get sucked out so bad. I'm sorry. It matter if it's I'm, out sorry. Of a plane. I'm sorry. As a it Muslim woman, you cannot say anything will happen to an airplane while you're on it. I'm not going to like to be on an yeah, airplane like going sucked down. Out. Yeah. There's a lot of problems going on yeah, with this please. sentence. Either you, yeah, there's I, a lot. I'm trying to think if I want to say this or if I don't. No, you do. You say it. We can bleep it no, out. No, no, no. You want to say it. Say it. We'll bleep it out. if you want us to hear it. Say it and we'll bleep it out. You either give the suck or get the suck. Keep that in. Yeah. We'll be right <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> so uh, the Boeing whistleblower, he basically, do you guys know what's really going on with Boeing, like the whole thing? Funding? No. So Bo my, my uncle used to work for uh, McDonnell Douglas. You don't, yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. You got an uncle who doesn't do anything? You got an uncle who like, works at McDonald's, maybe? You know, people think I lie about this shit, but you've hung out with me enough that you I've know it's true. I've hung out with you, but fuck these people. Like, <laughs> like, but, it's, but you know it's true. No, I don't know it's true that your uncle owns an airplane or, like, works with planes or is on the board of directors of all airplanes. I don't know this about you. Yeah, but you know most other things when I say it's true. Yeah, that's the problem, though, is that you don't miss 90% of the time, 100% of the time. So when, I don't know when you, if you do miss or if you're not missing. Hold on. Predict something right Hold now. Hold on. Okay. What do you want? Hold to on, bitch. <laughs> Shut up. Hold on. Shut up. Hold Take on. off those thermals. Hold on. <laughs> Am I wearing underwear? <laughs> it's underwear. Okay. No, leave it on though. It's a good look. You know how women you wear the Cal Calvin Klein, like the little Calvin Klein thing? Yeah, the underwear. You know, you know, like a, you know, Lebanon started that shit. Dead ass. Hundred percent. Because your uncle owned Calvin no, Klein. No, when I went to Lebanon, all the guys were doing that like ten years ago, and now it's popular. Well, wearing the yeah, and I'm like, you know, Calvin Klein's like five dollars a, a, a TJ. Can we get somebody okay. like to to Anthony? If you're if you're listening, Anthony Sargon. Can you tell me if the Calvin Klein thing started in Lebanon it's, or if that's it's real? I'm telling you, they started it ten years ago. I right. need to take a trip to Lebanon. Yeah, you would be like slay. Oh my God, what's up, Habibi? 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 Oh. You'd be like. And I was going to do some even worse stuff, but I don't want to be hot on. Anyways. Okay, so my uncle, <laughs> Boeing, worked, anyways, my uncle Boeing. worked for McDonnell uh -huh. Douglas. I think McDonnell Douglas or Boeing. Yeah. McDonnell, McDonnell Douglas, Douglas, hold is on. A, is it like a private plane company? No, McDonnell Douglas and Boeing were two different companies that built planes. Mm -hmm. Boeing before that was like the gold standard for planes. John Oliver did a segment on it. It was great. Mm -hmm. And basically what happened is they merged. And McDonnell Douglas was very much about profits before, you know, actually safety and a good product. Right. So as time has gone on, Boeing has just become more and more shit. The seven uh, is this the seven thirty seven Max. Yeah. Uh, it had that anti stall feature. M mind you, if you guys are listening right now, I have a crippling fear of planes. So I, in order for me to try to fly on them, I try to study them and learn everything about it. Still scared. Um, but the seven thirty seven Max had an anti stall feature. So that's how those planes went down because the Boeing company released these planes but didn't tell the pilots about this anti stall. So basically, you know, a plane goes like this. You have to like kind of dip. I don't really understand it fully, but basically it was like an automatic anti-stall. So they're like, they're adjusting the plane. Yeah. But the computer is adjusting it the other way. Oh, Does that makes sense. Yeah. There's a lot of plane crashes that like the most, I, I'm not explaining it correctly. If someone's actually understands in the comments, please explain. So as time has gone on, Boeing has slowly become more and more shitty. And now it's become criminal that the, the government's investigating it. Because there was a whistleblower, it was John Barnett, I believe. Yeah, John Barnett. And he was found dead by suicide. I mean, he killed himself. And he was a whistleblower that said, hey. Allegedly suicide. Which is like a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. And he said that the basically the standards of care were horrible. Also, John Oliver did a segment on it where they had people going in for from different news organizations. And then the people working on Boeing was like, I wouldn't fly on that. Because basically they're, they're chop shopping planes now. Yeah, basically. So, you know, I used to be afraid of Airbus because Airbus is the other company. There's only two companies. Right. This is, sorry, this is a, like a weird plane lecture. But the reason why is because there was a plane that went down. I think it was the Fran plane France. But basically, the Airbus has a yoke. It has like a stick. Or not a yoke. It has like a stick controller. Yeah. And uh, Boeing has like the yokes. Yeah. And when you move it, that person's machine moves. Yeah. As well. 
on the Airbus, it doesn't. So there was an, uh, uh, an inexperienced pilot who kind of was leaning on it and they, they downed a, a flight coming back from going to France. Oh, wow. So it freaked me out for years. I was like, I never want to ride Airbus. And now today, a fucking another Boeing plane door ripped the fuck off. Right. Like, so it's like now Boeing is the, the piece of shit. You Dude, know? all I can think about is like, imagine how fucked your ears would be if you're right next to that seat. That Dude, remember off? the lady who got sucked out the window Yo, and I'd died? Be pissed. Wait, what? No, remember the, do you remember the Southwest flight? The Southwest flight, the something broke the window and the one woman, just one person got <laughs> sucked out. Oh my God. It was awful. Those windows are not big either. Might this is when like, I was flying too. This like is what was being like a pancake. And oh, just, literally. There's just one person, like insta sucked like out. Mucus. And then also the masks that come down, you don't yeah. you don't have that much air. The people in the front have a lot of air. Uh huh. You don't have much air, so they had to put on their fucking masks and depressurize and then go down. Basically, what we're doing up here in the fucking altitude. Dude, I'd be so mad if I died like that. If you got sucked out of a, a door. Yes. Imagine you're just like imagine you get make it out. Okay, imagine make it you make it out of the window. Uh huh. Unscathed. Dude, imagine but like you're free, free falling. falling and you're like, God. <laughs> So like like there may oh, be like twenty. Shit. Maybe like I never thought about long, that. How long is would that fall be? Like twenty what, twenty minutes. Twenty seconds. 20 seconds 20 you think? to 40 seconds yeah imagine that 40 seconds you're just like god damn it I'm would you close die. your eyes dude i'd be like please let me be over a fucking ocean or something would, oh, there's a myth a that bit. you have a heart attack before you hit the ground it's bullshit you would, you would die if you hit the ocean from that height there's anyway. people who I mean, survive no matter what yeah there's people who've hit the ground from uh the parachuting and they've survived me personally if i was falling that, i'd make sure my no no like with no parachute they've survived they just hit something if i was sucked oh. out of a plane and i was over the ocean i'd make sure i'd be like torpedo shaped like pointed toes so you could, still die you're hitting know. concrete <laughs> yeah your legs would fucking burst yeah you're hitting concrete yeah i would not want to die like that you need to break the surface tension and even at that you how fucking deep would you go? You fell from 26,000 feet. What are you going to do? F- fly? You think Frogan, you're going to go 10 feet down and just swim up? Just end up in Australia. This motherfucker got GTA physics logic in her fucking I have, brain, I dude. built in flotation devices. <laughs> Bro, Frogan's like, I we saw this. over that, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frogan goes, I saw this in GTA 5. <laughs> He's just like, I, I'm good. They're like, you don't need to jump, miss. I'm like, no, I got this. I'm going to go skydiving. Boeing is under a lot of heat right now, though, for all of that. Um, but I think they are under a criminal investigation as well mm. for multiple planes malfunctioning. Dude, it's bad. Like, it's to the point where, like, I am afraid of planes, but now I'm going to literally choose Airbus. Yeah. I'm not going to go on a Boeing plane. I mean, it, the fact that you can deselect the planes, this is what happens when you deregulate industries. Like, it's like, no, Boeing was charged with investigating Boeing. Right. What do you think you're going to do? You know, mm-hmm. hey, there's no criminal investigation. There's no cr- crimes here. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. I don't know what's being talked about. Spirit was the one that I think it popped off of. Oh, Slay. Spirit what? Spirit was the one I think it popped off of. What do you mean? The the door. I think it was the Spirit plane. Oh, really? Yep. How exciting. I so, love Spirit. Yeah, United Airlines, but this is today, three hours ago. Uh-huh. United Airlines uh, a, a plane apparently loses external uh, panel mid-flight after taking off from San Francisco. Officials say... Dude, imagine you literally imagine fucking... buying the shittiest plane, thinking like it's shitty. I know, but it's okay. It, it'll be fine. I'll make it. And then you don't. It's dude. <laughs> it's what's also shitty is all these all these companies, like they own these planes now, and these planes suck. And none of these fucking flight companies want their planes to go down because then it puts it in your head. Remember that Southwest plane that crashed, or remember that plane that crashed, or whatever. Yeah. So it's not it's not good, dude. It fucks with the industry. I I know what should happen. What? I think Elon Musk should introduce planes. Have you seen his rocket? It it's mid. It's should mid. Introduce it's planes to what? To what? Like a Tesla plane. Oh. Like you an know. electric plane? Yeah. We, we I can't would go yeah. down. When I got a Tesla, I was told that it was going to self-drive. I spent a lot of money buying the self-driving package. We can't even fucking get on the freeway without it going beep, 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 beep. I think it knows you have your wooden shiv in the car with you. No, I don't have my wooden shiv. And I also blocked the camera. And I told you guys about the camera. It's fucking weird. Yeah, there's a camera inside the cabin, which is fucking insane. It looks at you while you drive. Why do Why do I want an iPad front-facing camera on my fucking car? And I've been naked so many times in that car. Front seat only? I don't even want to know. Backseat? <laughs> Listen, I'm the one sitting in the backseat most of the time. The only time you ever sat in the backseat was like yesterday or whenever we came up here. 
Oh, hold on. I'm having a moment. Huh? Nope. Nothing. I didn't say anything. Was it the all pot. over the car? You're disgusting. <laughs> You're a freak. Yeah, that's You're the thing. You're a fucking freak. That's the thing. Wherever you sit, I've been. Okay, so that's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> okay. You know where you sit at work? Oh, you <laughs> your word. Move on. <laughs> Move on. Okay. Uh, what else? Anyways, uh, rest in peace to um, Barnett. Barnett, thank you. Um, it's fishy. It's fishy, y'all. A big, big plana, big, <laughs> big well, airport. It's, it's crazy that someone that blows <laughs> the whistle, airline, big airline, <laughs> big airline, <laughs> fucking, fucking. I just got it. Murdering this people. A big plana, like big pharma. Yeah, big pharma, big airline is killing. Is just out here murdering <laughs> people, probably. Big aviation. Oh, no. big aviation is good. Big, big aviation. Big aviation. Uh, very, big, very big. Very big. Dude, I can I be honest with you? What? Have you need to tell people that when we got here, we got we got up to the mountains. Yeah. We're at extremely high altitude. We're at eight thousand feet. Not extremely high. Seven thousand forty. High. high enough. Okay. So we got up here, and I told you guys that altitude is going to give you sickness, and no, nobody believed me. I wasn't sick. I wasn't really sick either. I got a little nauseous on the drive up, but that's because you drive like a piece of shit. Ooh, me. I don't drive like a piece of shit. It was it, you didn't drive bad. It was the it was we're up a mountain. I was fine. So I got a little nauseous. You were sleeping a lot. Yeah, Do you sleep like that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm depressed. I don't think sleep is a <laughs> sign of depression. <laughs> I think Rogan, lack Rogan, of sleep. I'm gonna say this on the pod. Okay, go for it. Yeah, I was snoring when I slept today because I slept at a fucking ball, okay? <laughs> One, my oxygen has been 92. Two, I literally slept like this, okay? So the altitude does affect you! Three, I have I have a fucking stuffy nose. Four, when I woke up, my boobs were suffocating me. Five. Is that, a, is that like a thing? Do people die from boob? Yeah. Okay, the funniest, by boob. the funniest thing is Frogan's sleeping and we're watching Love is Blind. <laughs> it made me want, okay, can I just say that I I literally have a, okay. You ruined my day with, with that. I with wish, what? I, I feel so embarrassed. For snoring? It's yes. okay. It's fine. Bob does it. Yeah. You're, it's not even that bad. It was just, his is awful. The funniest thing is I look over at Raph, I'm like, is she going to survive this? No, here's the thing. I was like, I'm like, she's fighting demons in her sleep. Here's the thing. The thing that she's like, <laughs> fucking crazy. She, she sounded like, like <laughs> dude, she sounded like DMX in her sleep. It was crazy. She's like doing exorcist. Like, <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. The, what I, you really want? Here's the thing. The power of Islam compels you. I, like, I'm doing they, the crescent. Whatever they told me. Cause, cause, cause I've fallen asleep before. Like, I don't usually sleep. I hope so. Like, I, I like I fell asleep. <laughs> Whenever we were on our way to Universal Studios, like, I've fallen asleep before. And whenever, the thing that, like, kind of, like, set me off, that had made me not stop thinking about it, it was, like, I'm glad you didn't die in your sleep. And I was, like, oh, fuck, so it was probably really bad. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't for, that bad. It wasn't that bad. We just need content But you right were now. fighting your demons. You were. You were, like, <gasps> I was playing the Jurassic Park game, dude. and I thought it was you. I thought it, it was... was the halfway through, I go, I go like this. I take up the headphones. I go, there's no dinosaurs in the park yet. I haven't built it. And I it look it over. That bad. It no, broke, it's so it embarrassing. I feel like it's like a, <laughs> I don't know. I feel so vulnerable. Yeah, he, t- he did that. I took his head and I turned it like that scene from Jurassic Park. Like, <laughs> and it was you. And you're like, oh. That's all I'm gonna say. I wish you woke me up and didn't let me. You be... were sleeping. I'm not gonna wake you up. Yeah, but I don't want to be snoring. You are snoring. Everybody just... snores. Everybody snores. Not really. I don't usually snore. How do you know it's you're asleep? Because I've slept with people. Yeah, but they're being polite. No, they would tell me. Who? My sisters. Mm. You know, damn well Aya would tell me. Okay. About sleeping? I don't know a damn thing about your sisters. They're supposed to be on the podcast, by the way. We can ask whenever them when they visit. Here. What? You're a liar. I'm a liar about what? Aya. What about her? You know shit about her. I don't know anything about her. All men do is lie. I'm barely a man. Yeah. Look at your fucking pants. <laughs> Kidding. I know some stuff about Aya. And today, that's it. Yeah. today, I wanted to prove my manhood, and you guys were actually pretty big dicks about it. Today, I built 
speaking of manhood, today I built a snow dick and you guys did not help me. Dude, it was freezing outside. One, I'm going to tell you why I didn't help you, okay? I was going to help you. Okay. But and when I fell in the snow, yeah. not wearing a jacket, it ruined my fucking mood. Ruined it? Okay. Because. But that was like look mid, at, the, see, in I the even halfway have the, in. I even have the remnant. The Look at. Remnant. Yeah. The leftovers. Of my fucking highs. Mm, okay. Okay. So that ruined my fucking mood. So I had to set myself simmer inside for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Two, you kept yelling at me every time I tried helping you. You were throwing snow on me on purpose. <laughs> you, I literally cut a, cut a clip out of it. I'm going to show a clip. I was giving you Here the to, full. To, just to be like our, our producer, you were kind of being a dick and you were kind of throwing. Can you do the voice? I'm not going to do the voice. I, the altitude's fucking with me. Actually, Krogan. The altitude is fucking with me. Actually, Krogan, you were actually kind of being a dick. Isn't it kind of hard you to talk what? right now? At least I helped. I didn't want. I was out there in the cold. In short sleeves. I tried to get which you money. Makes, which, which makes no sense. Like this motherfucker. I felt good. Felt good. Felt refreshing. He he didn't put a jacket on until the end. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I put a jacket on at the end because I wanted to tackle the snow dick that you made. And he did. Me personally, I embraced the dick. I hugged the dick, and he destroyed it. Raph, have you seen snow a lot before? The last time I saw snow like this, I was in Lebanon. Really? That blew mm -hmm. my fucking mind when he said that. I was like, Lebanon has snow? In the mountains. Lebanon has a lot of snow like, like this. What? Yeah, like this. Literally like this. It's in the mountains. Lebanon is exactly like California. You can be in the beach one day, like they, but their water is warm. Mm -hmm. so you can literally be surfing and then go up to the mountains and be in the snow in the same mm -hmm. day. Yeah, I'm from Michigan, so snow is like a normal for us. I mean, is, is, it not, is it fun to be in the snow here? I love it. Because it's funny because I'm with you guys, and I'm like, whenever I'm at home, I'm like, fuck. This like right after this, I'm gonna get naked and jump. Uh, I in can't the snow. imagine going to work in the snow and like having to do your normal life and having to dig the fucking snow. That's out. the annoying part. You mm. know, like it's like it's cool for like a day. Here's the thing, though. Whenever I lived in Michigan, I didn't have snowshoes. I would literally walk in the snow with uh, socks and uh, Nike slides. Really? Yeah. Ew, wet foot, dirty foot. Is the snow in Michigan like this snow? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. Or Crocs, but like, yeah, I don't know. That's Ow, fucking crazy. Go? Yeah, dude. You're <laughs> cracking yeah, all dude, over I, you're, you're like... <laughs> audio picked that up, too. It sounded like a fucking... Whick, whick, whick. That was my hip. <clears throat> so we made Snow Dick, and then... Uh, twice. We made Snow Dick twice. We made a documentary, which is on the Patreon. It, w it should be on the Patreon now. Uh, is about it uploaded? Snow Dick. No, I'm going to... By oh, the time the this comes out... Oh, uploaded. the preview. We are, we are recording this up. podcast really early because of... Uh, yeah. Be because we're in the mountains. But also... Uh, uh, but yeah, so we made Snow Dick. We made a we made a preview for the pod or for the documentary, mm -hmm. and then we posted that on Patreon. And it's been so fun, dude. Honestly, doing this getaway has been uh, the nicest shit because when you're wrapped up in the whole like internet game and doing all the work, it becomes like near constant. But when uh, it kind of feels like we're in a content house. Yeah. Yeah, we've lived together for a week at this point. Nobody's been angry, huh? If we haven't fought each other. We've been chilling. Yeah. I feel like we live together well. Yeah. I feel like. We've lived together. Chill. Yeah, so we just wanted to bring that up because we're moving in together. Yeah, we're a in house. Together. Yeah. What's it like being a forty-year-old man living in with like two teenagers? I'd rather <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Am I still allowed to say that on the pod? What? We're like, he's, yeah, he's we're gonna, at the point where he's you can gonna say it. Yeah, yeah. Mute it with the. <laughs> yeah. Mute it with the. <laughs> you know, I'd rather fucking. That it's one funny. I didn't even say it. Yeah. Content's taking a weird turn right now, isn't it? What? Because, you know, the whole TikTok ban and everything like that that's going on right oh, now, Oh, fuck. Why did we not bring that up earlier? Thank you so much, Raph. TikTok ban. <laughs> you know what? I'm so glad we have such a smart person on our podcast. Yeah. Where is he? He's right here. Oh, me? It's You know what's funny about this pod? Mm -hmm. Is what? usually we have, like, someone producing it who's sitting there, but there's no one there, so I'm just looking at the fucking camera. I mean... Good. There I was about camera. to be mean. <laughs> Yeah, true. So there's no difference. Bleep that all out. Bleep it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Bleep, Bleep all that out. All out. The dude, okay, so, so the TikTok ban. <gasps> to who? You. Wait, what does it mean? Wait, that what did you say? Like, fuck you. Fuck your mom. What, what did you say? Oh, what did my, my mom do to you? No, your mom's solid. What I do to you? I was going to say to Capri, but. Uh, so I caught straight. He's having a lot of family stuff going on. Oh, my God. So, anyways, uh, tick the it's gone through the house. The build a band TikTok has gone through the house, and it's the, passed in the house. It's passed in the house, and the reason for banning it, as we're told, quote unquote, 
It's for bit mining and or something like that, right? Basically, what what the United States government is trying to say, and I'm trying to pull up some of these clips, what they're trying to say is that the CCP, the you know, the Chinese Communist Party, p- party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 The Chinese comedy is party. <laughs> hey, do you want to go to a party? <laughs> oh, I really got to go party. Can you do me a favor? What? Can you say China like Donald Trump? China. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to China. It's oh. going to be fantastic and be great. It's going to be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I hate you. His Trump impression is so good. Thank you. I want to talk about what's going to happen. Because I've been to <laughs> I want to talk about <laughs> what's going to happen if, if you're marching <laughs> band or something, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I was in chorus, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to play this. I hate you guys. Oops. <laughs> what is this? What are you, what are you Sorry, showing? I didn't like? mean to. I didn't mean to play a clip. It was an accident. I'm crying. Have you performed? Okay, listen. This motherfucker said he met the queen. You performed for Donald Trump, did you? Hmm. Did you really? <laughs> It was a long time ago. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you not want to talk about it on the pod? No, I was a part of a chorus group, and we uh, sang at either his place or a function. I don't remember where exactly it was. Was he there? Well, he lives in Florida, dude. He has that giant place like that's on Federal Highway, so Raph right by the beach. Bleep this, Audrey Axter. Raph told me the wildest shit ever. What? what? He built Ben Shapiro's kitchen. I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, apparently we built Ben Shapiro's kitchen. You can't talk about that on the pod. No, I know. I, that's why I said bleep, bleep it out. Can I not? No. I mean, if you want. No, don't do that. Why? What's going to happen? If you want to talk about it, talk it's about it. It's not like we didn't know. We were just like. No, uh, I think it's crazy. It's the just... project name was Shapiro. There's so many Shapiros in the world. It's a, it's a good, it's a fun lore. We found out the other day Man. that it was Ben. Well, at least I, uh, allegedly it was Ben. My I brother have... told me and sometimes, you know. I have no I cool lore. What the fuck is that on the wall over there next to the knife rack? What do you mean? What? what? Is there a bear? Don't scare me. Don't fucking tell me there's a Where? bear. No, it looks like a fucking bug. Do you see that? No, I don't see anything. You're freaking oh, me out. Oh, what the fuck is that? Do you see that? Is that a snake? <laughs> no, what is that? What the fuck is that? It's not moving. I don't think that's been there before, right? I don't know, Raph. Go look at it. <laughs> no, what is that? You're the least important out of all of us. You have to go look. No, I'm scared. I'm scared, too. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like anything. It, it looks, looks like... It's moving. It's moving. It's a snake. What is it, Frogan? Is it really moving? I don't know, but Dude, it, there's an animal in the house how, somehow. Oh, what it, the oh, for the lights on the cabinet. Stop fucking scaring me like that. It's not cool when you guys do that. You know how I get. There was a fucking spider in here the other day, and I had to kill it, and I didn't want to. I wanted to rescue it and put it outside, but I was told that I had to murder it. I never said you had to kill it. You said, kill it! You did say kill it. Don't ever put that on me again. I had to pray for it, dude. I had to wish it a quick and happy rebirth and all this shit. What? Hold on, I'm my mic. What are you doing? I'm looking for the TikTok band video. So, Hold on. I felt really bad when he killed it. Did killed you? What? I hate when bugs get killed. It was a thick one too. It had an ass. Dude, oh, there was an another ass. spider. I I didn't kill, but I took it outside. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I wanted was... to take it outside, but I didn't have any utensils to take it outside. It's like I think I always used to think I was like mentally ill for feeling bad for killing bugs because I never used to. I used to like catch them, even if it was like a centipede, I'd catch that shit. Like, there's a stink well, centipede won't Dude, do the anything, altitude dude. is getting to me. What do you mean? I feel like I can't breathe. Get your oxygen. Yeah, I can't breathe either, but we're still doing this. We've been, we've been not able to breathe uh, for three, four, oh, wow, five days. Do you days. feel, okay, honestly, Raph, I'm going to ask you seriously. Do you feel winded? Yeah. Dude, I felt winded. I felt winded. winded this whole time. That's why I've been breathing outside of the camera view. It's <laughs> fucking crazy, man. Like, it, you, we've been here for a week. We still haven't got used to it. Yeah, that's okay. But, yeah. Brogan's been fucking farting up a storm. <laughs> no, you, you're you the <laughs> one that's been farting. I have been. I've been tooting. Dude, this is how, like, everybody has been farting except me. I don't fart in front of people. <laughs> that's not what I smelled. Bitch, yeah, be real. Can I, can I be honest mm-hmm. with you? When you were snoring, you were like. No, I didn't. You did. You, <laughs> yeah. No, I did. I really <laughs> so embarrassing. She didn't. She didn't. 
I didn't hear a fart from her. Not when she was snoring. I did. You had your headphones on. You heard the fucking dinosaur fart. Whoa. You were playing Jurassic World the entire time, which, by the way, I'm super jealous. I wish I could play it. That game is so... I don't get it yet, but it looks fun. Okay, I'm having fun with it so far. It looks like you have to round up the animals and then just make sure they have a good life and then build a park around them. Yeah, but the the deal is when I play... It's, I'm playing Jurassic Park or Jurassic Park Evolution 2 or something. Yeah. It's whatever. Like, it's it's... The thing is, like, some of those games, like the park management games, they just become tedious for me. I don't really fuck with it. So is it, like, right. Sims for Dinosaurs? Exactly. It's, it's literally, it, well, it's a remake of the old, like, Jurassic Tycoon or something it's, like it's that. It's like Roller Coaster Tycoon with dinosaurs. Right. But, like, right now, in whatever I am in the game, it's so early that it's, like, the park sucks. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, three cages. So I'm and trying to figure to, like, it out. you need to, make money somehow, right? But it looks beautiful. Like, they have fake, I think they have fake actors that do Jeff Goldblum, and they do also uh, oh, Chris Pratt. Yes. Welcome back to my pocket. Welcome, park. welcome Ooh. to Jurassic Park. Ooh. Ooh. I, have, I have lunges in my pocket. Dude, I love Jeff Goldblum. I love Jeff Goldblum. You think Goldblum. he's, is he pro, is he pro Palestine? I don't want to find out. I'd rather just keep that a secret between I know, me I want to know. I want to know now. No, I don't oh, want to know. TikTok. Because it's going to ruin it for me. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now. He's trying to find the video for TikTok. But basically, TikTok uh, is being banned in the United States, um, and we personally here at the Arabs podcast, without getting into conspiracy theories or breaking that down, I like that Capri's looking up whether or not Jeff Goldblum is uh, Palestinian. Well, he's not only not pro-Palestinian; he's also no. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. He's dude. also no. I don't want to know Islam. Oh, I don't yeah. want to know. All I know is that Capri has a picture, or like a, a pillow at his house with his face on it. Yeah, uh, you know what? Does. You know what, dude? Fuck it. I'm on Jeff Goldblum's side. Let's do Zionism. Uh, speaking of Zionism, so l- l- speaking the, of Zionism, the TikTok <laughs> ban is all about Palestine. I I yeah. tweeted about it, and it's because the reason why they're trying to ban TikTok, and you should always question your government if both parties are doing something together as fast as possible. And everyone's signing off on it. The only three times I remember the government ever doing that was the Patriot Act. Mm-hmm. And then two other times I can't remember off the top of my head. I loved that show. The Patriot Act? Yeah. It was great. Um, was that Hassan Minaj? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hassan Minaj. I have a confession. Spice what? Minaj. What? It's mentally ill. What? Is it about Hassan Minaj and what how is, he lied about his stories? But maybe he didn't completely lie? So. Yeah, weird. There was a point in his netflix career where he started copying hassan piker okay what yeah I think what do you mean he, i think his writers would like watch hassan and like use it in patriot act oh sh- wow he was just saying the same shit mm-hmm. hassan said oh what the fuck yeah so like for example one one key thing was like he did like a Fortnite thing H- hassan abi and then uh, hassan Minaj's was hassan bai which means the same thing brother hassan oh what the fuck okay for example so i was like hmm. th- i was like this motherfucker is about to stream on twitch so I checked to see if Hassan Minaj was available on Twitch, and it was, and I fucking stole it. You stole a man's identity. Okay, you stole somebody's identity. Great. And I said... That's so not Patriot no, Act of you. Here's the thing. I need to steal his identity. I saved that username because I'm like, if you ever want to share my Twitch, you have to come to me fucking first, bitch, or you're going to get Hassan Minaj underscore. Not the real shit. So there's only room for one Hassan on the platform. Well, there's two. There's Hassan. There's Hassan, Kadir. Well, there's only room for one S Hassan on the platform. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Political what's, Hassan. What's Abi so great? You're what? somebody's Brother. career. Uh, in, in what language? Turkish. Yeah, Turkey. Turkey. Wait, what? Is Hassan Minaj Turkish? Well, Hassan is Turkish. He lost the fucking plot. He's Indian, isn't he? Yeah, but what's Hassan? Oh, Hassan Minaj. Hassan, 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 Hassan Minaj, Minaj is Indian. What's Bai? Where, Brother. In Brad what Biden's language? Brother. Uh, I think Hindu. Okay, I mean, you guys are saying it. You said it the way I'm like, I don't understand. So he basically said he Hassan stole- brother, Hassan yeah, brother. Yeah, that's one thing. There's other things he said that like jokes and shit. Yeah. Oh, why is like it? Like what? Where are the receipts? I don't remember. That's I'm going to so change my name. To Cap- what are we doing having this conversation for? It's Be- interesting. You know what I'm going to change my name to? Uh-huh. Capri Chay. You know what I'm going to change your, your name to? Capri Zabar. <laughs> Oh my god, that's such a good name. Capri. For Salib, Salib Nobody Zabar. steals Capri, Capri Zabar. Capri Zabar. Oh, I'm gonna change your name to uh, Waluwahadiji. You made that up. Waluwahadiji, <laughs> but Wahad is in it. You are so racist towards Arabs as an Arab, and you don't even know. My sometimes. favorite thing is when he like he speaks Arabic, but he just like makes random Arab sounding letters. It's so fucking. He's funny. so Jewish, but I don't even know that. I don't even know that. What's the red crazy is he does the Hebrew accent when he tries to do the Arabic I do. accent. 
And then when he tries to do the Arabic accent, well, no, when he, he tries to Russian. speak Arabic, you just start saying, <laughs> yeah, but half of it is intelligible. Okay, say something. No, do, do your, do guys, you, I don't want to offend anybody. Do your Hebrew accent. No, I because it's not really a Hebrew accent. It's just kind of like whatever's <laughs> in that area. Your no, Israeli dude, accent. Get, no, dude. You're Jewish. Why is he going to get racist? I don't want to do my Israeli accent. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Do your Israeli accent. Oh, uh, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That sounds Give me your country. That doesn't sound Israeli. That sounds like the fucking movies with the Arabs. Yeah. I Welcome know. to the desert. Welcome to the desert. Welcome yes, to Israel. Very good, very good for me. The desert is good be you. Dude, Do you please. think Jesus would have would have had more than thirteen followers on TikTok? Um Yeah, it would take some years though. No? You just say all the things that he would say. People would think he would be never mind, I'm not gonna don't piss off Christian people. You have enough enemies right now. I mean, you have Jesus in Islam, too. Yeah, I know. I killed that motherfucker. That. White people don't know Would that. you nail him? <laughs> <laughs> Would I nail Jesus? No, I'm not Roman. I'm Jewish. If anything, I fled. I was you like, know the Jews <laughs> killed Jesus. Let me not be a part of this shit. Huh? You guys killed my prophet. I think we voted on it, but to be fair... Romans kind of like we're like do it or you'll be dead. Yeah, I don't think that people understand that we've been occupied that area for a while. You know what I mean? Romans are like kill this motherfucker. So we're like, what are we gonna do, dude? What's crazy is how many Roman ruins are in the Middle East. You go to like Lebanon. It's beautiful. Did you go to? Did you ever go to uh, not a, uh, uh, the something Al Kalib the Dog <laughs> River? <laughs> Where's that Dog River? It's in. It's but like, where, like it's where? right next to you know Jita. Yeah. Grotto. Uh huh. It's near there, I think. Maybe. It's basically if you go there, there's like Roman ruins. Have you ever been to uh, Balbec? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The That's Roman in the ruins. mountains, right? No, Balbec is south, I think. Oh, is it like on the way to Beirut? It's w- no, that's Byblos. Byblos is what I'm thinking of. Byblos is not. Byblos is the Phoenician. Balbec is in that area, though, right? We should put a, all... giraffes are, put these on the screen so they could see what we're talking about. Balbec one... is all the ancient alien theories about it. It's the one with, like, the big-ass fucking rocks and the Roman pillars. Yeah, I've been there. Okay. There's also one town where it is just all Roman ruins, but it's, like, a downtown area. You know what I mean? There's also it's Roman. It has, like, some sort of, like, a nightlife. It's by the, by the ocean, I think. There's a lot of Roman ruins. There's a lot, Roman. dude. It's pretty sick. It's crazy. They just talk. You got to go. I want to go. All right, then go. Go. Yeah. If we go to Lebanon, <laughs> we're going to get taught by Kung Fu Jesus. Oh, my God. I just I want to go to Lebanon to meet Anthony. Yeah. Down. Anyways, we think that TikTok is being banned because of Zionist movement. Let, let's get back to TikTok. Can real we quick. just finish it? Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. Up. We gotta finish at you least know one what? thought. The, here. Uh, I'm glad TikTok is getting banned. Okay, stop doing your intrusive thoughts. Let me finish the actual evidence of the story. You better fight him right now, and you better fight her. You know I what? Whose side are you on? I'm trying to breathe. I'm on the side of breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the side dude, of oxygen. Dude, I'm not gonna I'm lie. I'm on the side of oxygen right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I can't fight. I mean, I've been doing good. Oh, dude, I'm white, kind of olive toned. What color? What is that? Was the, a weird what question is she to getting? ask. Oh, the oxygen? Oh, yeah, give me this. It's gonna sound really bad in the microphone. No, look, do it on the mic. I'm not gonna be on the mic. Sorry, I can't breathe sorry either. Advance. I can't breathe either. Luke. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. am your father. Is that helping? A little bit. Mine didn't help at all. Because you're doing it wrong. You take little baby breaths, breathe in with your whole chest and your lungs. Yeah, but it, it feels good for a second. So we bought oxygen tanks as as displayed on for the um, boost on oxygen. Mine's empty. Shark tank. Whose side are you on now, though? What do you mean? I gave you air. Oh, the side of Jesus. Oh, fuck. What? You got lipstick all inside of <laughs> It's all over your face, dude. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I'm on no one's side. Now I'm on my own side. I feel strong. I feel strong and powerful. I feel pretty good. I'll now. fucking fight you both. I, I I'm not really, touching you. I feel really smart right now. I'm not gonna fucking touch you. Now get get over here. Wallahi, get over here. 
Okay. Fucking bitch. We pussy. barely got through the TikTok fucking band. Pussy. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say my. One. I want to go in the hot tub. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna end it right now. Uh, guys, this was a great episode. <laughs> we, what do we? Can we finish the fucking point? <laughs> so Let me fucking do the outro this time. Let I want to do the outro this time, TikTok. and I want to finish the TikTok conversation. What, what? What? What was the point of bringing it up? Okay, can I do it then? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, so here's the deal. TikTok is being banned. We yeah. talked about the Patriot Act yeah. and how the government's moving so fast to ban TikTok. Yeah. And they're doing it purposefully with the intention, and there's Zionists on TV that have come out that said that they need to ban it because they're radicalizing the youth against Israel. Uh -huh. This is another reason the State Department can't control what you're doing and saying. Mm -hmm. They want to ban TikTok. And they're claiming that the Chinese are getting us all radicalized because they're supporting Hamas or whatever. Mm -hmm. But nobody supports Hamas. They support the fucking, you know, the genocide, the kids being killed. So all yeah. of the government right now, then you're against it, but all of the government right now is voting to ban it. And bet your ass, this is, and when I, I posted it's about Palestine, people were like, it's not about Palestine. It's about their data mining. I'm like, what's crazy is you guys care so much when it's a Chinese corporation, mm -hmm. but when it's an American corporation that's literally using the data to fucking sell it to to sway elections, you don't give a shit. You didn't ban Facebook. You're not banning Instagram. Why? Because it's a Chinese company. It's a foreign adversary. I understand. But like, let's say this company was in fucking France. Mm -hmm. Would you think that that's a foreign company that's uh, controlling our government as well? It's the same thing. It's like the fear of, again, I'm not a fan of China, but I'm also not a fan of America. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at the end of the day, they're only doing this because the, they want to, they want to ban it for the Palestinian thing. But here's my second part of that. This will be another vine boom for creators like us because everyone will flood back to fucking YouTube to post their shorts and to Instagram. And it will be another vine boom. So for people like us, the, not saying the quiet part out loud. I have a decent TikTok following, but I don't post there anymore. It like fell off. It's just going to blow us up because people are going to come to the fucking platforms that we're already on. Yeah, they're going to go back to platforms that have already been established. So like YouTube is going to be popped off. Even Reels are probably going to take off more. Um, even Facebook will probably take off a little bit more than um, shorts. But one thing people don't realize is in the fine print of what passed, like they could go after other social media platforms too. For the same shit. But fuck TikTok, man. TikTok shop ruined that stupid fucking platform. TikTok I don't care about Prime Bites. I don't care about the Yara nasty ass powder smelling fucking perfume from Dubai. Yeah, TikTok sold out. They T did. Can I be honest? TikTok sucks. And you know where I've been getting most of my news about Palestine now? Mm. TikTok. Instagram. Really? Yeah. Mm. Instagram still has everything. I've seen all the worst stuff on Instagram. You know where I've been getting my news about Palestine? Uh, Raph. Mm, I got a lot. I got a plug. My Ooh. uncle, grandpa, father, he actually owns 3,000% of all Boeing airports in Palestine oh. right now. And if you think about it, my mother's dad's grandpa's uncle's father, who is my son, is actually in control of the entire place. So I know a little thing or two about that. Yeah. Okay, well, that concludes this week's episode. <laughs> he wanted to do the No, no go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, that concludes this week's episode. Uh, you can watch the rest of it on Patreon. We're probably going to play Settlers of Catan uh -huh. on the Patreon. Uh -huh. We're going to play it. Uh, we also are, we drop documentaries on the Patreon. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Guys, please follow us all on Twitch. If you're not following us on Twitch, please follow us all on Twitch. Our links are down below. Uh, we are going to be having uh, a lot more bigger and bigger shows as time goes on. So please subscribe. Please comment. Comments really help. And when, if you made it to the end, every person who posts made it to the end makes a, a, a really, it's really nice of them. Um, one of the things that we hadn't done in a while, but I want to do is thank, uh, just thank a personal Patreon. Okay, like go for personal it. Patron. Go for it. My favorite patron this week. Is Raph's mom. Is Raph's mom. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for that. My queen. <laughs> Icon. <laughs> Uh, Who are you gonna say for real though? I was just gonna pick a random one. The Rass pick? Bomb works. I was gonna. I don't know. I think we G DJ Skeletor is a great. Oh, DJ Skeletor is amazing too. Yeah. We're D two this episode. So and every week we're gonna think another. Follow page. us on all socials. Be remember, you can listen to this podcast on Spotify and Apple Music as well. So you don't have to like keep the YouTube app open. But we appreciate your views. It helps us out a, a lot. And if again, every person, someone posted a comment, and I just want to bring this up real quick before we wrap yeah. up. It said, this has quickly become my favorite podcast. I've been watching since episode three, and it's mm -hmm. like one of my favorites. That's super sweet of you, yeah, and I appreciate it. It means a lot Thank to you. us. We Why put a lot of work one? into it. 
Because they probably right. found us. Stop, what is, stop being such a fucking problem, jerk dude. about it. Right, and I'm the done. fucking thing. Play the, Bye. Play the outro. Play the outro. Play the outro. We're like smoking air. I burped. I know you heard it. I'm sorry. This is Frogan right now. Ha 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 